Good morning, guys. Well, as you can see, we are at the coast today with all this sand around us. What's up? Our main target and goal today is to hit the jetty and get some uh, rockfish, hopefully some lingcod. Um, a couple of our buddies have been hitting them pretty good. Uh, mostly curly tails and paddle tails that we're going to be throwing. I think it's going to be a good day out there on the jetty. We're going to get some plastics wet. Don't go nowhere. I'm Asher Wren. I'm Chris Blanchard. You're watching the fight. We love the bite. Say you're watching the bite really loud. I'm watching the bite. No, say you're watching the bite. Oh, you're watching the bite. <laughs> Thanks, man. That'll be in a video. So keep an eye on that. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. Have a good day, guys. Yep, the bite. I mean, you can find us pretty easy with just the one word, the bite. You guys fly fish too? Uh, we got a, one of our buddies that shoots with us. He's a major fly angler. Nice. All right, guys, obviously we just got out here. You guys uh, missed the really nice hike, sitting at your house, watching it on the, the YouTube right now, but I am sweat. You know, we came out here dressed like it was the Oregon coast we were coming to, but it kind of feels like the California coast or something. I am sweating, it's a nice day. It's gonna be even nicer once these clouds break up and the water is looking green though. On, guys. Oh. Nice keeper. Hell yeah, guys! First keeper wing of the day. Be a 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at it, but it looks like it's a keeper. You can usually tell if they're short when you first pull them out, but. I can find this little, this little spot. Nice, he dressed it up. Heads up. I've been just throwing the straight swim.
paper for shell. Yep. Get the hook the, out of the net. Squid wrap. Look at that. Beauty. Chunky little fish too. It's actually not that long. It is a keeper. It looks like it's length for sure. But it looks but it's thick. Look yeah, look, look, look at those fillets. Yeah. Look at the sea lice running all over its belly. I love it. See that mouth. Come on. Put the squid wrapped around the jig like we've shown you before. Yep, that's that classic, the bite. Bite, tried and true, patent pending, squid wrapped jig technique. And that's a beautiful looking lean cod right there. So, I'm stoked on that. I'm gonna put it down, maybe I'll give you guys another little show of it, and I'm gonna get back to fishing again. So, yee! What a great way to start the day. Well, you guys, pretty stoked on that. Beautiful keeper lean cod, first fish of the day and my first lean cod of the season. Come out here a couple of times and caught some rockfish and stuff, but nothing really too impressive or worth showing off. And this is my first keeper lean cod of the year, so I'm stoked on that. Lean cod are an excellent, excellent eating fish. And you can see it's got these nice thick fat fillets on it, which is exactly what we're looking for. And I'm stoked on that. I'm gonna take him home, cut him up, and uh, make a little fried fish out of him because lean cod fillet fries up so nicely. And uh, Gonna get back in the water. I get two, so let's see if I can catch another one today. And then we gotta get Chris into his two also. So maybe oh, I'll uh, maybe I'll catch some rockfish also. Taking four home. Taking four home. <laughs> Got our swim bait. Got a nice long piece probably just over two feet to be real of magic thread and we're going to take this down to the back right about there hook it in leaving just a nice good little neck lip piece right there and then we're going to take our thread and we're going to wrap it around that neck piece and one of the things i find huh that'll work but it's a little bit off see how that's not stripping down right huh. Is that when you start wrapping it this way, it starts pulling it over that way, and you kind of got to readjust. And then after a couple of loops going that way, I usually tie it off one time. So I'm going to make a big loop and go all the way around it like this, so I can tie it off to that neck piece right there. And then once I tie it off, I can actually start wrapping the other direction to have it kind of balance out and pull in on it from both sides. And then you can actually get. centered on the top and I'll come down here and do a loop if you see like this around the hook so I'll come up this way one time go around the hook like that and then go bait back that way around and then around the hook one more time and that's kind of just tying off this this bottom section too to like hold it in place which is much less important than holding the top in place because the top is what's going to be getting the most tension it's going to be dragging back on it like that Wrap it down. See that body is nice. I like and it. And it anchors it to the hook. Yeah. Also, so it doesn't squeeze together. Exactly. And then at the end here, I'll just do a couple of little clinch sailor sailor loops half or whatever, hitchers. half hitches um, around the hook like this, and that'll secure it in place. Break it off kind of close by, and now that's on there pretty decently. And so I'll do things like either carve this down a little bit more or just put some fins in it. I think that on this one, we're just gonna put a couple of little strips in it and that's gonna cause it to flutter around a little bit and not be so stiff sitting up off the fish. We saw that one, it kind of made like a weird little stiff thing coming up off of it. So we'll go to the front, we'll see what our thread is like. The same with these little heads. If they're too tall, you wanna leave a lip there for your line to stay attached to for sure. But if this little lip is too tall, it's gonna cause a lot of drag on your piece of squid. So if you have scissors and you can just easily carve it off like that, that's gonna be that's gonna be good too. Um, this still could pop loose, and when it does, you just gotta tie it up again. But that right there is a pretty primo squid capped curly tail, and that is a link cod candy. So. Mm. Chris is on right now. Yeah, I don't know if 
keeper. Oh, it looks like it's a keeper, bro. That's a keeper link, bro. Can't tell how big he is yet, but he's pulling. Yeah, he's decent. He looks like a 20. And this is foot. Dude, I think that's a keeper leg. It's fucking gotta be at least 22. If yep. that, if it, we're guessing 24 yep. on there. Yep. Yeah, it's gotta be close, it's gotta be 22. Just barely legal. This thing is literally running that 22 inch mark. Um, I mean, you guys can see, you know. Um, I, I had my bait rod just sitting out there and I was about to go cast the, uh, the rig we just rigged up with the squid on it. Started reeling in and actually took a little bit of slack because he must have been tucked underneath something and then all of a sudden it just started pulling, 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 head shake. And uh, there you go. Mark one down for Chris. It's just a little guy, but that is a keeper. Look at all those. It's about as small as you can keep them. Sea lice. Wow, yeah, around. look at those sea lice all over it. There's one. I get one more. He gets one more. Well, we've only been here for like an hour. What a beautiful, awesome day on the Oregon coast. Hitting up the jetty. We're fishing Oceanside today. You see us fish Riverside a lot, but we decided to fish Oceanside today and just give it a little run. Usually the Oceanside doesn't hold nearly as many fish and they're not as big, but we decided to come over here and check it out because there's a lot of guys over there on the Riverside. And, uh, so far, you know, so, so far so good. Let's see if we can find a monster. That looks more like the 20, 19. Real pretty little Ling Cod though. Look, he's got some mean, mean giant slash on his back right there where something grabbed him. Maybe, bigger one. maybe a seal or a bigger one or something. 
Beautiful, beautiful little fish. I'm gonna remember that scar in the back. Hopefully catch this fish when it hits that 30 inch range. But we're gonna put him back in the water for now. Real pretty little lingcod. It's fun to catch the target species even if it's a little short. And I got fish for the freezer already anyway. So that's what we're talking about right there. Let's get her him back in the water. Come in. Yeah, that's right. That's what's up. You're watching the bite. <laughs> is not the same fish but it does have a little scar right here also in the same place the other one did it's also just barely short just a little guy but i'm hoping that since i stuck two in a row right off of the same spot maybe there's some big ones right down there so stoked on that fun to just smash another little fish this is a beautiful beautiful little lingcod look at all these sea lice and look you can see there's something in his belly he ate something just recently, but look at those sea lice all over him. So, so wild. But look at that sparkly, shiny side. The side of this fish is just unreal looking. We're gonna get it back in the water real quick. Healthy little ling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did I drop him? Drop it? He let it go. Found him. Crazy. He folded the whole thing up. That probably blocked the hook more there. Oh. Well, he was on. He was on. Folded my worm in half. See if we can get him back. You break off? Oh yeah. I didn't even move it. He's good. Feeling a little smaller. Oh, he's feeling bigger. Oh, he's feeling smaller again. We got Oh, that might be a keeper, bro. 
about the size of the other one, huh? Yep. It's worth measuring. Might as well. You gotta walk over here. Yep. Here, let me. Go over here. In his mouth. A little candlefish. Here. Boom. A little candlefish. A little bait fishy. They're out here munching. All right, let's go measure him. Let's go him measure him. I think he's going to be just barely illegal. He looks like about the same What do you guys measure. think back there? You think it's going to be a legal fish? 22 inches is what we're going for. We'll find out. That's a 22 inch fish, bro. That is, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. I get two just right in the money. That means Asher's gonna get a hog right now. He needs to. So we can actually have one that's a beast. Measure him one more time. One more measurement. So this box right here is a 12 inch box. Nose to about here, right above his anal gland. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah it's looking like it's 23. Yeah, maybe nah, 20. nah, because I remember what that 25 actually looked like. But he's look, over who, knows, who knows? Yeah, he's over 22. Probably right 23. Because he looks a little short. Remember how long those 24s, 25s oh, yeah. looked? But um, but that's a good little keeper, keeper fish. Looks like a, a twin to the other one, huh? Right? Pretty much. They all, they're all looking pretty similar over here right now. Twinsies. Right? And then the other one even here. Yeah. We got one more to get. Yeah. Like I said, Ash is probably gonna stick a hog. This one's this That's one's a little bit a little bit bigger, but you can see it's also the same type of markings. That brown, brown, kind of light blue, greenish color. Sometimes Lincoln cod will be everything from bright green through bright fluorescent blue. Yeah, Sometimes it'll even be a red color. It'll be a you've brown. You've seen that red, one on that episode that was super. Yeah, you've blue. seen the blue one I caught that one time, but these guys are all basically brothers and sisters it looks like they're all dinner yep and they're all going to be dinner <laughs> we got one more before we move on to trying to catch some rockfish or just calling it a day let's go get that one more let's make it a big one let's make it a big one Another nice little keeper. He's he's probably 23, 24, just a little bigger than keeper. I'm stoked on that. That means that me and Chris both just limited out on Ling Cod in a couple of hours. Throwing swim baits, wrap that little squid. You know how we do. That's number six for us, and that is our fourth keeper. So stoked on that. Gonna go ahead and bonk him and lay him down next to the other ones. And we're good to go for the day. Yee! Lingcod. 
watching. Bye.